Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a game organizing video. So I'm going to be organizing all the kids games and puzzles and flashcards and everything they have. So all of those games you see in there right now used to be um, up here stacked. So we're going to go through and organize today. Alright, so I'm in our dining room where we have basically all of our kids stuff. This is where I keep all of their, just mostly everything that um, isn't like bigger toys or toys that I leave out for them. So I'm going to go through these drawers and then put the stuff that's up here on these, on the shelf in here or up in the built-in cabinets or the ones up there, um, depending on where they go. All right. Yeah, this one's a little bit crazy. The kids got into this, made a huge mess, and I just never took the time to clean it. taking this stuff into the other room and then when I'm in the other room ready to put it all away into the drawers or in the cabinets then I will turn the camera back on and finish putting it all away. Okay so back to the game closet. So I'm gonna just start putting stuff away and I kind of decided that I think I want this to be the games and um, like flip books like this and cards you know. And that closet over there will be puzzles and any other toys they have that are like messy.
going to be puzzles and things that just have a lot of pieces. So I'm going to start by putting like the preschool puzzles and the ones in bags up on top. time. Um, I'm actually recording this the next day <laughs> because it just took me a while to figure out where I wanted everything. Um, but so this is the, we're back in the dining room now so top is clean and this is one of the drawers. <clears throat> um, this had all like the cards in it, like the really messy <laughs> um, one. So I put some of the cards back in there, um, the aqua doodle stuff, uh, some things that, you know, like all of those plate or alphabet cookies, the Easter eggs, all of that stuff just gets spilled all over and is a mess. So at least in here they won't, it won't be in their direct eyesight. Um, Alphon is under there, Link, or yeah, Lincoln Logs, and then that word puzzle game thing. And in this other drawer, or cabinet, I mean. So I left the Winnie the Pooh stuff there. I put uh, a big giant school bus <laughs> under there. Um, the puzzles, that's like a, what is that called? A parachute. And then I put some of their little people vehicles in here just because we have too much little people stuff and so it ends up looking like a mess, sort of. So I figured in here at least they're not visible and it just looks cleaner and over by the little people area it looks a lot cleaner too. I like that the toys are put away and at least some of them and um, I think it'll keep things a lot cleaner. Alright so then this is the kids new game closet so as you can see I didn't get everything cleared off but uh, it looks a lot better. Starting on the top on the left side I put like preschool type games. Um, so we have two high Cheeros and a ton of memory matching games. Um, and then on the other side it looks a little bit messy and it sort of is but it's like flashcards, um, brain quest, and you know the two dominoes that we have and then um, some card games and things. Um, on the middle shelf I have just more preschool type of games. Um, you know ABC games, uh, we have that trouble game, the sneaky snacky squirrel, the ladybug, bunny hop, the I spy and Yahtzee and stuff, and then like the opposites matching and all um, the lacing things. And then on the bottom shelf we have, um, you know, those, those four games, it's Candyland, Thomas, Sorry, and then Lucky Ducks, and then those are our Dance Dance Revolution mats. And then on top of the mats, I just put like another type of toy. So that's the game closet. And I've already seen a huge improvement when Adeline takes a game out or Zach. Um, I have them clean it up and then they can pick a new game. So it already keeps the floor a lot cleaner. So then this is our other built-in cabinet on the other side. 
and this one I don't have very good lighting for. Um, but pretty much on the top are just puzzles and uh, the train, <laughs> that train little thing that I put there. So it's all puzzles. And then the middle shelf is the gears, um, another puzzle which should be on the top. The Peppa Pig house, their Mega Block Legos, and then behind there is their um, alpha, their like map that they put together, the alphabet and numbers. Sesame Street like map thing. And then on the bottom I have the cash register, um, two more like bigger puzzles, and then the blocks. Alright, so thanks for watching guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye!